Chris Berryman. I'm a volunteer here at Fort Nisqually Living History Museum and I was going to talk to you today about hewing timbers. Hewing is taking a round log and making it into a squared timber. Originally all the buildings at the fort were squared timbers and I'm going to show you how to get there from a round log. The bastions at the fort here were also made of squared timbers and these three timbers here on the palisades are timbers that were originally came from the factor's house. The middle one here is 65 foot 9 inches long and went across the front of the factor's house, a building that was built out of materials from a sawmill but with some hand hewn components mixed in. To establish those timbers, a log is cut to length and then rolled up on stickers and then dog down with log dogs to hold it in place so it won't rotate. But in a fixed with it in a fixed position, a plumb bob or spirit level can be used to establish lines on the end of the log representing the timber that you want to get out of it. Those lines run to the outside of the log and the same thing is drawn on the other side. With the timber dog down, it won't roll so what's plumb here will be plumb on the other side. And then from this point here to a corresponding point on the other side of the log, a line can be snapped that now represents this face of the timber. Using a crosscut saw, cuts can be made down to that line, or using a, an axe, um, notches can be cut down to that line. Isolating pieces of wood that can be split off using a broad axe. And the broad axe would come in like so and split these pieces off, giving you a, uh, a rough face to start with. The log is then rotated, uh, cuts again, made down to new established lines, and then these pieces are split off also. That would leave you with a timber that can be finished using a carpenter's adze to give it a finished look. So that's how you get a square one out of a round one. And if you found that interesting, follow us on social media and we'll show you some other things.